Good Tuesday evening, everyone, and welcome to this edition of WPBS Weekly Inside the Stories. I'm Stefan Brunson. With spring officially here and restrictions lifting across Canada, home buyers are gearing up for a busy real estate season. Although for many looking to purchase their first home, it could feel like a race against time as prices rise faster than some can save for a down payment. Nikki Anasasakis of Inside the Story CHCH has more. From 2020 to 2021, we saw appreciation anywhere from 18 to 33 percent, depending on the neighborhood. It's a scorching hot housing market breaking records month after month with homes selling for ever more eye-popping prices, with seemingly every house of every size and shape going for big bucks. I saw a condo townhouse sell for over a million dollars this last week, two of them. With interest rates on mortgages now drifting higher, help may be on the way to bridge a sprawling affordability gap for many. Though GTA real estate broker Lambros Demo says he doesn't expect the Bank of Canada's interest hike of a quarter of a percentage point to affect the home buying frenzy all that much, at least for the spring selling season. Talk about the Bank of Canada now raising their interest rates. What does this mean for the housing market and for our economy here in Canada? There's a lot of, you know, I'm not going to say confusion, but a lot of people don't understand exactly what, what it means. It affects only the variable rate. It doesn't affect the fixed rate. And the variable rate makes up probably about 25% of all mortgages in Canada. It also affects things like uh, home equity lines of credit and uh, other types of loans. So that's where you'll see a bigger impact uh, for this announcement. But don't let the sky-high housing costs deter you from looking into investing your first property. According to Demos, the broker says you won't regret it in the long run, especially since more properties are beginning to hit the market. did my own kind of number crunching and I saw that uh, freehold properties, for example, in Toronto, Peel and Halton region, uh, almost doubled from January to February. So the amount of supply, uh, they went up about 85%. Townhomes in particular went up 124%. So there's a ton more properties uh, available for buyers. Not all housing types are equal when it comes to price and availability though, Demo says. Many millennials have been priced out of the detached housing market and are forced into settling for a condo or townhouse instead. According to the real estate platform Wawa.ca, Toronto is now the most expensive housing market in Canada, ending Vancouver's over 30-year run. And the average home price increased 28% to $1.3 million year over year a figure that surges to $2 million for detached properties, a difference of $700,000. So we've basically gone from a detached to a semi-detached to a townhouse. I know there are different types of townhouses. So it seems like with each day, we keep having to reduce either our expectation or our quality. 31-year-old Chineye Eheme, who's currently renting in Etobicoke, says her and her spouse's house search has proven to be much more challenging than they assumed it would be. We're a two-income household, and we consider ourselves to be at least mid to high, like in the mid to high earning range. But we noticed that the kind of houses that, we are, that, that we're seeing in the market that we can afford are not the quality or the size that we had initially assumed. Ahame feels the government needs to step in to put a cap on how high offers are being accepted and to help encourage more housing on the market. Can they list at value so that we can adequately budget and you know have a realistic figure of what we should expect? But you see the list price and instinctively you think to yourself, okay, let me just add 400000 to this. The million dollar question many young Canadians are yearning to find out is real estate still a good investment or a viable option for young people? 100%. Yeah, I think so, despite the prices continuing to go up. If you're able to, Lambro says, this is your time to jump on a property, any property for that matter, because its value will appreciate almost immediately, as the housing market is showing no signs of slowing down anytime soon. You look at over the last 40 years, the market has continued on upward trend. Yes, we've had a few dips here and there, but it's never come crashing down. Even in the financial crisis of 2008, the market didn't crash. With spring knocking on the door, more supply starting to hit the market and Ontario reopening, Demos predicts the market will begin to balance itself out. Though there are many unknowns, 
like future interest rate increases or the risk of recession. If that affects supply chain, that could affect a whole bunch of things and throw us into a twist again. So who knows what's going to happen. For Inside the Story, I'm Nikki Anastasakis.